So Morrow Hall actually started in 1871 as a simple cabinet with a few minerals, a couple fossils, and some taxidermy birds. And this year, 150 years later, um, we now have three public sites that you can visit, different museums across uh, Nebraska, as well as a world-renowned research collections. So COVID kind of threw our museum for a loop. We shut down all three of our public sites um, and we pivoted actually to a virtual platform, which was kind of exciting for us because instead of just the four walls of our museum, we were able to take uh, our museum globally. We actually shared education content with people in over 72 different countries, um, as well as all 50 states here in the US. Um, Fortunately, this summer, all three of our sites will be reopened. We reopened Morrow Hall um, in August of 2020. Our Asheville Fossil Beds reopened in July of 2020, and Trailside Museum will reopen here in April uh, 2021. So Morrow Hall opened Cherish, Nebraska on our fourth floor in February of 2019. Um, it was almost $11.5 million, all donor-funded donor um, renovation. Very excited. Um, it's very Smithsonian-inspired. Uh, University of Nebraska State Museum is a Smithsonian affiliate. We're only one of three here in Nebraska. Um, but it was able to create a very interactive learning opportunity for our visitors. You'll see a lot of the, the touch screens, um, you know, hands-on, that they can pull out drawers and explore science. They can look at specimens under microscopes. Um, one of the key highlights of the exhibit is our visible lab. So during the week, we have actual researchers from our collections working on museum specimens, and the public can come and ask them questions um, about what they're working on, why they're working on it, you know, what their departments do for the museum. So for me, science, um, education, it's, it's a very important part. Um, teaching kids to be curious, to explore their surroundings, explore the world. Um, to me, curiosity is one of the greatest things because learning can translate into any field. And so having the opportunity to support an institution that's really playing a key role, um, that just excited me. So for the next 150 years, for both our Morrow Hall location and the, the University of Nebraska State Museum as a whole, we just want to see continued growth, continued opportunities, um, opening the doors to more communities um, virtually. That's, you know, we've, we've created a lot more opportunities to share um, science and humanities. Um, and then just continuing to grow and broaden our diversity both within our exhibits and with the communities that we're able to work with.